Howdy guys! Well, we've so finished all character. the characters. We've only got one more thing to do. This pops up on the menu as soon as you beat all six character stories. Let's get into the final story of Sonic Adventure. Mm. What the fuck was that noise supposed to be? Mm. Sounds a bit constipated if you ask me. So the island randomly falls again for God knows what fucking reason. I don't know. But uh, evidently things are not quite over yet. There's still things going on. The Master Emerald is where it belongs. But Angel Island is still falling. This doesn't make any sense. Maybe... Those Chaos Emeralds that I brought back with me have something to do with what's happening. I'll take them to Sonic for his advice. Hold on, wait, what? Eggman. But Chaos encountered Eggman in the jungle. How's he here? This is terrible. Chaos is... Is what? Oh, never mind. Who cares? I'll only make my head hurt thinking about it. So now we're actually investigating why Angel Island's fallen, which, you know, I'm surprised they didn't think to do that the first time it fell, but whatever. Evidently, they didn't think much on it. I don't know. But it should have been obvious that, that, was Angel, that this is Angel Island, given ice cap zone and everything, and, well, you only have to look over there from Sonic going into Red Mountain over here to see that Angel Island's fallen. And I, f why the fuck did I just do that? Well, you guys have just seen me die in the last story, which I always thought was impossible to do, but evidently I've just proven otherwise. Right, be patient this time. Over the bridge. I do apologise, but this this story is very cutscene heavy uh, um, to begin with, so. Yeah, you're just gonna kind of have to deal with it. Sorry. Sonic. Uh, sorry. Knuckles and Eggman. What happened here? He stole my Chaos Emeralds. And Chaos is still alive. What? Ah, he's not gonna get away with this. Hey, Eggman, wait up! Sonic, Chaos is a fearsome beast. If he gets that last Chaos Emerald, we're done for. 
No need to explain. We'll get on it. Tails? Right. What? Oh, Talk about bad timing. Jesus Christ. Do we need to know this now? <laughs> this place. It looks familiar. It's not a dream after all. So I run forward and yeah. Get out of my way! No way! Did you hear what I said? I won't obey! We need those seven emeralds to give us total power! It's power for the people! And they are your people too, you know! We must get that emerald! Greed is our enemy! Once it starts, you will always want more! Please don't do this! I beg you! Bah! I don't listen to the words of a child! Ready, men? Charge! Father! It's a monster! No! Oh, let's investigate. Looks like those echidnas really are stupid. Hey, are you alright? Uh, I think so. Oh my gosh! No, no, no! Wait up! The seven emeralds are the servers. Chaos is power enriched by the heart. The controller serves to unify the chaos. <gasps> The seven emeralds can change our thoughts into power. If this emerald controls that power, please, you must stop him. Sonic, wake up! Uh, <laughs> I was on a snooze cruise, I guess. Good thing you're okay. You just sort of conked out there. Knuckles left already. Come! We gotta go after the last emerald. Uh, lead the way. It should still be on board the tornado, too. And, yeah, if you remember from Big Story, Big hijacked it at the end, um, in order to get him and Froggy back home. And So, yeah, it's, it's gonna be in the jungle. So just head to the jungle and then the cutscene will kick in and stuff. But yeah, I mean, talk about bad timing. I mean, we could have say we could have got the emerald quicker if Takal had not interrupted us with that vision. At least that's the way I see it. Because judging by the way Tails react um, after the vision ends, Sonic's obviously conked out. That and that implies time has passed. I mean, Jesus. Priorities to Carl. I think getting the emeralds more important than seeing your life story. Look, it's the tornado too. Yeah, so let's get the chaos emerald and leave. What? No! He's got the last emerald! And we'd have got it sooner if it hadn't been for Tikal! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being such a bitch, aren't I? <laughs> but 
first I want to put, draw attention to something while this is all going on um, it was brought up in like elsewhere but look at how packed the streets are and then literally just seconds later see streets are still packed and boom streets are still packed might I add roads are cracking water comes pouring out of the buildings and now the streets are completely em utterly empty how the fuck does this work I'm sorry but the people cannot run as fast as Sonic can so don't you dare tell me that there was no fucking casualties I have heard that there was no casualties when this happened no human died I refuse to believe that it don't make any sense the street was crowded literally seconds before this bad boy turned up and then seconds later there was nothing people had to have died I'm sorry accept it <laughs> If I wasn't just dreaming, that monster is a real menace. You don't say. Eggman. Looks like he's after chaos, too. This egg carrier, too, was made because something like this could happen. You have defied your master, stupid beast. Now you must be destroyed at all costs. <laughs> yeah, not nice one, Eggman, really. <laughs> and how did he not die in that? Oh, that's what how not. Okay. I've had enough. Who do you think you are anyway? Oh, it's you. The one who sealed chaos in the Master Emerald, Tikal. My heart has always been in the Master Emerald along with Chaos's. Now he's filled with anger and sadness. And if it goes on, he'll eventually destroy the world like he did before. Turmoil and his anger just won't vanish. He'll just be trapped forever. What choice do we have? And they all conveniently land in front of him, right? <laughs> Amy. Why's the bird with her that's well, she got the pink bird with her now. Was the blue one not good enough for her? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Chaos only used the negative power of the emeralds. Sonic, you should be able to harness the real power. As much as I hate to admit it, I think Tails is right about this. Go Sonic! Yeah, Sonic! Sonic! Uh negative forces aren't the only way to empower the chaos emeralds. Our positive feelings toward each other can make them work. Our hearts together form awesome power. OK. 
Rebecca, where are all those people cheering him from? If they've evacuated the city and the buildings have had water pouring out of them. So, final boss time. And we are supersonic for this. And I think this is like the first game where supersonic was final boss exclusive. Anyway, the whole hit idea here is you've got to keep moving really, really fast. Um, hit this thing. There we go. And you've just got to run into it really, really fast so that you can hit him. It's not the hardest final boss in the series, but it's one of the few bosses in this game that can give me trouble sometimes. Namely because if he hits you and you slow down, you won't be able to hit him. And we really don't want to run out of rings here. We really want to keep going and keep collecting rings and stuff. And see what I mean? Now he's Sonic's too slow to do anything to him. That's the only reason why I kind of find this boss a little bit annoying. Um... I don't foresee me dying, but if it happens, then I'll skip ahead. You stop shooting me, you motherfucker. Come on! There we go. I think you need to deal a grand total of six hits to this thing. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Not difficult. Come on, get back there. Keep going, come on. There we go. Hey! That's phase one. <laughs> But, like I said, this boss takes six hits, not three. So we've obviously got another phase. Which is no different from the previous phase. It's just the music changes. I don't know, maybe its attacks get stronger or something, but... Honestly, I don't... I don't see how this thing gets any tougher, really. See what I mean? Um, stronger attacks. I'm gonna back it up, get some more speed. Oh, for fuck's sake, will you hit the dash pad, you stupid hedgehog? There we go. I actually want to beat this guy. I don't actually want to die from ring loss, which has happened to me before, but. Well, it's not that common. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm paranoid now about ring loss. Come on, for fuck's sake, I hate that attack. That attack can go fuck itself. Kill the chaos, come on! Right, I need one more hit. One more friggin' hit and then he's dead. Right, come on, dodge this attack. Fucking hell, will you stop with the fucking fireballs, you motherfucking piece of shit? God damn it! Right, just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Yeah! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. Perfect Chaos has been taken down. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Guess he wasn't so perfect after all.
So now at the end, Kels is kind of back to normal now. He's no longer angry. You know, over something that happened several thousand years ago. I mean, geez, Kels, that is a long time to hold on to anger. I thought I held on to anger for a fucking long time. My God. I'd hate to be angry for several thousand years. Chaos has changed again. This time for the better. Yeah! Supersonic must have neutralized it, so it's nice again. These are the charm you were protecting. They stayed alive for generations and now live peacefully with humans. Fighting's over, harmony's restored, and life goes on. Thank you so much. All's well that ends well, right? You gotta be kidding me. Sonic? Hold the phone, Sonic. Station Square is still flooded, you know. <laughs> Shouldn't you at least help with clean up? Or is it too late for this city? <laughs> But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was Sonic Adventure. I'm completely done. I'm, I'm not doing anything else in this game. I am going to quickly show off where, um, after the credits, quickly show off where you can find um, the final three Adventure Field emblems that I missed out on. Um, that's not going to be... Uh, they're not going to be too difficult to find. And I don't even know if I'm going to bother putting commentary over that, because I kind of recorded it without commentary, just to make it much quicker and easier for me. Um, and I really, really want to get on with Adventure 2. I want to get that up. I'm kind of... I'm kind of torn. I mean, I really want to do Adventure 2, but I really want to get on with something that I've got on the channel already. I don't know, I'm leaning more towards Sonic Adventure 2 at the moment because I've really got the urge to play that again. I can't even begin to describe it, but man, I want to play it again. And, you know, after doing Sonic Adventure, well, it kind of makes sense to go straight on to Adventure 2, doesn't it? Even though I've still got Sonic 3 and Knuckles to do yet, but I will get to that, I promise. I will. I will! <laughs> But anyway, yeah, my thoughts on the whole game in, in total, ah, it's, it's kind of good, yeah. I loved Sonic stages. I really enjoyed Tails' stages. Not quite as much as Sonic's, but pretty darn close. I kind of enjoyed Knuckles' stages. I mean, I'm not a big fan of treasure hunting, but I do feel that Adventure made it, you know, made the treasure hunting stages bearable, because they're not too big and... You know, they're, they're easy enough to get to grips with, and you've got hints in the form of Takal if you need them. And, you know, Takal just points you in the right direction. Gamma stages are kind of cool, I suppose. Not as good as, like, the main trio, but I don't find Gamma to be that bad to play. Amy's slow as sin, and it's definitely not one of her finest hours in terms of gameplay. Sonic Heroes did better, but then again, she was technically Sonic in that game, so, yeah. <laughs> she would be. Um, but I found I can tolerate Amy's gameplay. Biggs is kind of dull. I just don't see how it could fit in. 
though I have nothing against the character, it's just the gameplay I didn't really enjoy. And yeah, the boss fights were way easy, I'm sorry it has to be said. The only two bosses that has ever given me any sort of challenge, and that's not saying much because they don't give me that much challenge, is Egg Viper and this boss, Perfect Chaos. Well, I say this boss, the boss that I fought last in the last story. <laughs> They're the only two bosses that has occasionally given me crap, but, you know, even then they're not that hard. I, I've managed to get to grips with them pretty darn good, even if I didn't do too great with Perfect Chaos this time round, you know. I didn't die, so what's it matter? <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoyed this game. I think it's got some of the best music um, in the Sonic series. Nice, nice kind of soundtrack that, you know, utilises all kinds of music, not just rock, because it gets, it gets steadily rockier from this point onwards in terms of, like, music. And I love the soundtracks in later Sonic games, but this one is really darn good. I don't know if I'd say it's my favourite, because I've got a few others that I really love as well. But it's, it's, it's up there, it's definitely up there. Graphics-wise, I mean, there's obviously issues with the, you know, um, lip syncing and facial movements and stuff, and the voice acting is not perfect, but that's not anything to do with graphics or whatever, um, but yeah, I, I kind of enjoyed this. It's not the best Sonic game, but for the first 3D Sonic game, it did really, really darn good, um, and I still enjoy playing it from time to time, even if it is really <laughs> easy. So yeah, that was Sonic Adventure. I'm glad I finally got through this. Um, Stay tuned for next time when I will be starting on Sonic Adventure 2. And by the way, the main theme of the game, Open Your Heart, which was just playing over the credits. Um, fucking love that theme. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. I kind of already said that in the very first part anyway. I mean, you, you heard me singing along to it if you've watched that part. <laughs> um, but yeah. Absolutely yeah, not my favourite Sonic game, but it's 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 a good game. It's a little bit easy, but I found it enjoyable. I'd rather play a really uh, and you know uh, blah, blah, sorry, tripping up over my words. I'd rather play an easy game that's a lot of fun to play than a hard game that's no fun to play. And that's generally how I feel about that. And this game is fun to play, so I can live with the easiness. But anyway, next time I'll be moving on to Sonic Adventure Two. Obviously, I've got Tomb Raider Anniversary stuff to upload as well, but I've not completely finished recording that yet, so I'll, record, I'll upload what I've got. The ending's quite happy to Carl and Chaos at peace once more. Anyway, see you next time, and we'll make a start on Sonic Adventure 2. Okay, so screw it, I decided to do commentary over this anyway. Here are the last three emblems um, in the adventure field that I didn't point out uh, in the, any other part. The first one you can only get with Tails, I think, um, and it's here in the alleyway, in uh, right by the Casino Opolis zone. Rather easy to find. I don't think, I don't know if you can get it with Knuckles, but you know, you can definitely get it with Tails. So I advise just getting it with Tails. The second one in Station Square that I haven't gotten can be gotten just by cutting the grass. It's difficult to see because I, yeah because of uh, picking up that item box at the same time, but there is an emblem there and you, you can only get it with tails. And the final emblem in Mystic Ruins can be gotten by gliding um, using knuckles. Rather easy to get, but very easy to miss and the draw distance sometimes makes it difficult to see exactly where it is until it pops up. But there you go, thank you for watching.